everybody, welcome back to the Youth Academy save with Geisley on EAFC 24. And we have updated Scott Lloyd. He is now a blonde haired ex goalkeeper. He surprisingly does look like, sort of, the guy we had on Football Manager, who was Scott Lloyd in goal, who had his shirt number retired. Um, and it's made me realise that you can actually come into the game and edit things about your players. Now, you can't edit name or height or physical attributes or anything like that or, or actual in-game attributes. But what we can do is we can start going through here. And, for example, let's go and get... I don't know. Let's go and get someone who we know is... So, Novak is... A, no, let's go and get someone that we, we play fairly regularly. Where's Papadopoulos? There he is. So Papadopoulos, right? He's the club captain. At the moment, he wears number 16. Um, he can uh, have his shirt tucked in and stuff. We can go in and edit. So you can't edit, obviously, any of his name and details. You can't edit anything to do with his height or his position or anything like that. But what we can do is edit his kit. So we can have like lots of different sleeve lengths, but I don't think that even makes a difference in EAFC. But you can untuck his kit if we want to. For some reason, there we go. We can make it untucked and things like that. We can go for boots and give them different boots. So what I want to do is get you guys involved in the chat and be like, you can sponsor a player. So the, the person that recommends a different thing. So this could be shirt. I think I think we can do shirt number. Paul, and go change kit number. So you can also pick their, their kit numbers as well. If that is something you're interested in doing, we can move kit numbers around and we can get that done as well so now you can pick a player basically leave a comment pick a player and say why their shirt number is going to change or what's the story behind it why should they be wearing these sort of boots and what what's the story about untucked or tucked in shirt and yeah let's just get some storylines flowing on this shall we because i mean the football shit so let's get some storylines going uh, we are bottom of the league Level on points with Crawley. We've got a very tough game coming up against Notts County. Uh, they are sitting very near the top. Uh, yes, yeah, sixth place. They are 25 points from 13, which is a million miles away from our five points from 13. So, yeah, this could be an interesting one. But there's not much else to talk about, so let's get into the first game of the episode. So, Notts County are going to be playing a kick and rush system with a 3-4-3. Three, three. So... It's going to be very taken. They've got McGoldrick up front. He used to be a Premier League striker. What is going on in this division? Okay, so for this one, we are starting with uh, Rivero, obviously, in holding midfield. He is now taking over. Um, no, he hasn't taken over the captaincy. That's an error because I took Papadopoulos out for run reason. So, ah, yes. We've got to sort out this, haven't we? Captain is uh, Papadopoulos. Penalties is definitely not Rivero. Uh, who have we got here? 49, 53 at the moment. It's Glover with 53. Uh, 36, 31, 30, 38, 43, 32, and Bamba. I can't give it to Bamba. So there you go. Glover, who's getting a rare start in this one, is our penalty taker for this one. Right, corners. So curve and long pass I'm looking at. 69 and 50, 45, 29, 60 to 50. Let's give it to Hutton on that. In fact, do you know what? Hutton's going to take both of them because I want... Oh, no, Papadopoulos is tiny. Let's get the captain to do them. 69 and 50, that's fine. Yeah, that's actually better as well. Papadopoulos can do it. Uh, free kicks will be Oman with 48. 49 for Glover, 29. 45, 36. 64 for Papadopoulos. Wow, why are you not on them all the time? Uh, unless Novak has something better, which he doesn't, it will be Papadopoulos. Uh, and long free kicks. Shop have 47, that's really bad. Um, well... We're basically going to be doing part. We're basically going to pass them. So we'll just get again. Papadopoulos, captain does it all. Captain, fantastic. Here we go then. Notts County are coming to Priestfield, or are we going to Notts County? Oh, we're going to Notts County. Thank you, Mr. Drummer Man. The Drummer Man is always for the home support. But uh, yeah, we've got some, you know, a new look Scott Lloyd on the bench, a new look manager, and uh, hopefully some backstory starting for some of our players. As well as, um, well, we get the two speed demons. I didn't really think. We've got a very quick front line. Potentially, we should be changing to counter-attack. I'll have to think about that. Because this front line of um, Hutton, Powell and Oman is just full of pace. As McGoldrick is going to try and get the Notts County off to a, a blistering start. We're going to stick with this highlight. because of Oh, no, there you go. We've intercepted. There's one Oman. Go, go, Hutton. Use your... Oh, that's not... You might have the pace. Oh, he has got the... Go on. Go. 
Get a big touch on it. Yes, no. Oh, not to count it into McGoldrick. Don't let him turn. 1 0. 1 0. Bam has beaten at his near post. Uh, that, that scout in Scotland looking for a goalkeeper cannot come quick enough, can it? That uh, McGoldrick. David McGoldrick? Is that his name? I can't really remember. David McGoldrick, I think, makes it 1 0. Well, McGoldrick has definitely made it 1 0. Um, yeah. Just, just, just why? Where's the marking? Bamba, where's his hands gone? He, he, I mean, Bamba is just, he's either Van der Sar or he's Taibi, isn't he? It, it's just, yeah, there's no middle point. Right, Glover, let's see what he can do. He's got, he's got some pace behind him, this boy, so. Oh, yeah, he skipped away from him. Definite foul, ref. You can send him off if you want. It's a yellow. We're going to run at him a bit more. Right, we've looped this one high up, trying to get a header on it, and it did not work. Oh, McGoldrick, it's an unbelievable turn of pace. Like, the, the touch, the pace, that's a good block from Alan, but the level of difference in these teams is ridiculous. Oman, let's... We just, oh, my God, Oman literally can't do anything other than run quickly. Oh, Randall's got him behind again. Notts County swinging it in the cross, McGoldrick. He's always going to out-jump the defenders. He's an ex-Premier League striker, for God's sake. Like, he's a class above us. We can't do anything about him. Even that time, we actually had a man next to him as well. It just, you know, happened to be... Clark, who's like five foot five, but two nil. Oh man, ball through. Finds Novak, who does put a ball through, and we know Hutton. Has, he's offside. I was getting so excited. He's offside. You've got to watch that line, mate. You were through. Oh, oh it's not counting again. Randall's getting so much space on this side. I assume he's going to pick out McGoldrick. There he is. McGoldrick turns. Surely he's going to have a shot. No, he passes it. Oh, great turn. 3-0. Oh, he's missed. Novak, lovely ball through to Oman. And here's Rivero. And now he's left footed. I've got to remember that. Rivero from holding midfield. Yes! The superstar of the team has got his first goal. It's a lovely finish. Uh, if we could make him a bit... If we could push him higher up the pitch, I'd be happy. But he's, if he makes those runs from deep, that's good. That's very good. It was a lovely bit of build-up play as well, which we're not going to see. But Rivero with a wonderful strike. It's our first effort on goal, and it's put us back in this game. 2-1, top corner stuff from Rivero. Keeper's never getting that. It's a lovely finish on his left foot. Come on. Oman's got some space to run into here, and he's got a runner in front of him. It's Novak who puts it through to Oman. We're going to take our time because his finishing's awful. Not this time. It's 2-2. Gillingham have come out of nowhere with two shots on target. Two goals. Come on. What a comeback this is. McGoldrick can kiss my ass. What a goal that is. Come on. We're, we're, we're playing well. We are playing better. It's five minutes still half time. And Oman, look at this. I slowed down, took my time. Left footed. I was like, just drive it into that side net. And keeper's not going to get that. Lovely finish from the striker. Centre back comes striker, but he is playing up front for us at the moment. Oman is on the score sheet. Randall into McGoldrick. Oh, Bamba. He like dived in slow motion and then stuck a hand up and got the save. It's a wonderful save, to be fair, from Big Bams. But um That's a that's a great header out. Go on, use your pace. Use your pace. Oh, he nearly got there as well. He nearly got there. Not to count it. Playing with it on the edge of the area. Allen with a great challenge. And here is Oman, and he should surely have the pace to get beyond his man. He's put in a tackle, but Bradley's covered it, the little bastard. Ball in Bamba, come and get it. He's got a hand on it. It's not the best. Got to get a tackle in. Oh, terrible shot. We're, we're, we're mixing this up. We're mixing this up. We're going counter-attack. We're going counter-attack. We're going to see how we do. It does not help our... It does not help our training, but we're going to try for this second half, counter-attack. Notts County coming forward in this second half. McGoldrick is just picking up all the spaces. I don't want to dive in on him. I just feel like it's going to be a penalty. Bamba, that is awful. Bamba. I didn't dive in on McGoldrick. We stood him up well. We stood up the second guy as well. And then Bamba just spills the shot. Easy header for Palmer. 3-2 Notts County. I think our key is getting that pace. It's trying to get that pace from Oman and the wingers. See what we can do. Let's try a little spin in behind. There we go. That's better. That's better. It's moved us up the pitch. I mean, it's not got us into a brilliant position. Hutton's trying to create something. Go on. Use a burst. Good burst of pace, Hutton. We've won a corner. Papadopoulos, great interception. And we can counter here. Go on. Use that pace. 
Great first touch from Glover to get it out of his feet. He's got Oman there. Oman can move it on one more. Novak, yes! I've missed. Oh my God, he's missed. He's about seven yards out and it's hit the back stanchion to the side netting and I thought we had equalised. Oh God, I feel like a twat. So, uh, Notts County making a substitution. We really should be three all. Uh, we sh I don't know how Novak's missed that, but it is going to be his last involvement because he's coming off to be replaced by Brown, who's going to sit there holding the field. We're going to try pushing um, the really good player, whose name has suddenly escaped me, up front. And Glover coming off for Corona as well. Uh, Corona does bring a bit more pace. Rivero, that's his name, isn't it? Um, he's going to push a little bit higher up into central midfield and we're going to give him a bit more freedom. After he scored that first goal, I fancy letting him off the leash a little bit from holding midfield as uh, Randall is going to swing this one in. Oh my God, not, not, he's got to be offside. He is offside. McGoldrick on the edge. A shot from range. That one is fine for Bamba, luckily. Had his super glue in his gloves that time. Ref, that's got to be a free kick. What the hell? I swear I won that header. Oh, McGoldrick's in. What a block from Clark. What a block from Bamba. And a header away from McDonald. It's gone to the edge of the area. Back to McGoldrick. I'm just sort of lobbing bodies everywhere I can. Which is in good defending. Great save from Bamba. Not too sure I've got that much power on it, but he did. And Oman's trying to flick that onto Corona. Oh, my God. This is absolutely relentless, this. And it's this man every time. And we're, we're literally just chucking bodies in the way when we can. Crowley with a good turn to get away from that slide tackle. Randall, another just uh, into McGoldrick. Good tackle from Clark. We're trying to get this out. We just can't clear our lines. It's absolute panic stations. And we do get in there. And Oman can go out to Hutton. And Hutton... There's, okay, he's won a throw in. Fine. A little bit of a break. Okay, a bit of the old guard coming on now. Uh, they're bringing on John Bostock, who's another player that I recognise from, like, the Premier League back in the day. Wasn't he an ex-Spurs youngster, John bon Bostock? Lovely haircut. Uh, we're making some changes as well. We're going to have a change up front because uh, Oman's coming off. He's going to be replaced by Bowman. We're going to bring on Amin on the left. And uh, Jackson is coming into centre-back, which is the position that we're training him in. So, Rivero stays on and I keep forgetting he's got that pinpoint accuracy trait and Amin could be in straight away it he's not got the pace he can cut this one back Papadopoulos yes that is 3-3 three, three. come on the substitute's making a difference Papadopoulos with his little tucked in shirt makes it a 3-3 three, three. and it was good work great little through run through man I knew he wouldn't have the pace but nobody walked Papadopoulos and then the little sort of side foot their keeper's rubbish Rivero Papadopoulos Oh, I was just just nearly, nearly Scott. And this is I'm chasing him down with Jackson, who's our centre back, by the way. Um, look how small Jackson is for a centre back as well. That's this might be a mistake, training him to be a centre back. Oh, I've dived in thinking he was going to pass. We need cover. We need Mark McGoldrick. Someone, he's at the back. Mark him at the back post as well. Randall, good touch. In it goes, Jackson. Oh, lovely, lovely. And can we break with Amin? Good little footwork. He's done well. Bowman. Papadopoulos. Rivero. Bowman. Goes wide. We've got numbers. In it goes. Rivero! Oh, my word. What a way to win it that would have been. With the scorpion kick. It would have been outrageous from the youngster. Honestly, I think we've got to train him up to be more advanced. We have to. His, his ability with those runs forward and on the ball. Oh, I'm so, it's so annoying that didn't go in in the 87th minute. Right, Jackson, this is why you're back here for your pace. Give us some cover. Okay, he's trying to put a foot in there and didn't, oh, oh no. Not like this. Scott, Scott's in. He's hit the post. I mean, that, that everybody knows in the division that that's Bamba's weak spot. Is that near post? McGoldrick's tackled. We do get it away. I'll tell you what, we're not out of this yet. Bowman, Rivero. Yes, I'm in. Oh my god, your shooting is so bad. Amin. He's, he's, he's going to get there. Amin. Oh my god, the amount of chances I've missed in this game. Oh, he saved it. What a save from the keeper. They're celebrating it like a goal. Oh yeah, I can't blame Amin. That's going in, isn't it? That's going in. It's a great fingertip save. Right, Papadopoulos, if ever we've needed a good ball in. It's there. It's headed round. It's another corner. Palmer with the defending. What an end to this game. In it goes. Big header from Rivero. No, Amin. 
Back out. Papadopoulos swings it in. Rivero, it's too weak. It's full time. 3-3 in the first game of the episode. Bloody hell, what a game. I think quick counter might be the way to go. I think it might be. We're going to try it from the off in the next game. Uh, so they had 61% possession. We had 39 uh, expected goals 5.1 for them 3.3 for us we were throwing bodies in the way for all that game five saves from Bamba so that was pretty good from him to be fair and then uh, Amin got man of the match with an 8.1 for us anyway Papadopoulos Oman Rivero Novak Bowman Oman all above a 7 um, and then down the other end we have Bamba on a 5.4 Corona coming on with a 5.3 that's really bad for him and a 5.8 for McDonald at right back. Okay, we have our monthly scout report from Japan where we're looking for a technically gifted player. And this guy with an overall of 48 to 66 already and a 67 to 93 potential. He's only 5'5", five five, but this could be very good. 600 grand. He is definitely coming into the team. 41 to 55, 54 to 77. I'm not sure about him. Hikari, Hikaru Saki, 46 to 62, 66 to 90. Um, yeah, we probably will sign you up straight away as well. Genichi Yamada. Um, do you know what? We're definitely signing you up. I don't even need to look at your price. And then, yeah, okay, we found some good players in Japan, which means I don't think we need Yasuda uh, just there. We do need to call that scout back and send him off to his next location. And then we'll go and have a look at the uh, Youth Academy and see how they're getting on. So we'll recall these guys. We've got Ghana and Scotland uh, just being set up by our other scouts. And then, yeah, the Youth Academy as a whole is looking stronger. Uh, we just need to be aware. So I think Wagner... Ugh. The thing is, he would come into the first team and be a good player. So we're not going to get rid of him just yet. But, uh, yeah, in terms of those new part guys... We in fact, let's have a look at age. Who can we call up? So Ono, 46 rated cam centre forward. Looks very promising. Good physicals. I think we do get him into the first team. Saki is a 55 overall. Left wing, right wing cam. Again, he could be pretty good. Good dribbling, passing and pace. Not bad. And Fajara, who's out there as well, 59 overall. He is definitely going to join the senior team. Uh, Yamada, 52 overall. I think we'll get these guys training to do something else. I quite fancy having a, right, a left footed right winger, which is what we're going to train uh, Yamada up to be. It'll only take him two weeks, but I think that's the right thing to do. And then Saki is a left wing, right wing cam. Poor physicals, poor defending, good dribbling, good passing, good pace. Shooting's a little bit poor. I think you are a cam. But I think what we're going to do is just give ourselves a bit of an option here. We're going to go centre forward, because I've got a plan in mind that I would like to go to. And Saki could definitely fill that role. So... Okay, Youth Academy is coming along nicely. So next up is Burton Albion in the EFL Trophy, a competition I really couldn't care less about. Uh, they're going to be playing in a 4-1-4-1, and we're going to ring some changes for this one because it's the EFL Trophy and I don't care. Okay, so for this one, completely ringing the changes, basically. Novak is going in goal, another Novak. He's going to make a debut. Uh, Jackson and Clark at the back. McDonald keeps his place at right back. Corrin at left back. Novak, Papadopoulos, and Ono gets a start in midfield, the new signing. Fujiwara also gets a start at left wing. Bellman up front, Corrin on the right so EFL trophy don't mind if we lose this one quite heavily let's see how we get on and Ono is playing as an advanced midfielder we're not going with two central midfielders in this one we are playing with an attacking midfielder to try and make runs off the striker so let's see how that works out well here is Ono straight away and he actually feels like he's got a good bit of pace to him and he's won a free kick early on and a yellow card Fujiwara trying to show what he can do for this Gillingham team as Ono picks it up. That's a good ball out. Corona holds it up well. McDonald, oh, that's a really bad pass. And now McDonald's out of position. And well, we, oh, we haven't ballsed it up, have we? We're in. Oh, Bowman. Have a quicker turn of pace, you, you pillock. All right, let's see what Fujiwara's got on this left hand side. I want this player to dive in so I can try and get round him. Fujiwara. Let's hold it up really well. Oh, it's lovely feet from Fujiwara. I'll tell you what, he's a big lad for five foot five. Are they sure they've got that measurement right? Ball in. Oh, go on. Give it back out to Fujiwara. Let's put another one in. He does. Left footed. In it goes. Oh, chest that down. Novak. Oh, I was going. I saw the headlights. The headlights? The headlines. Or naming lights. Oh, my God. My English. Oh, my God. And Burton Albion are going to be in. He didn't pass. What a pillock. And I've, that's another pillock thing to do. Pillock is obviously the way they. That's stupid. He's offside. Oh, no. Oh, no. Novak. What a save. 
Oh my god, I had an absolute shocker at the back there. I put in a good tackle and then passed it straight to their striker and hence the oh no's, oh no's. They have put this one into the near post. Bowman, I mean, gets it away. It wasn't the most convincing header. Burton Avenue is starting to start to do what I was saying about this counter attacking tactic. We're sitting much deeper and it is giving a little bit less freedom to their strikers. We have just got men behind the ball ready to pounce. I tell you what, I'm really liking Fujiwara here on the on the left. I'm pretty sure I'm butchering his name, but he's doing well. Fujiwara, it's a great ball through. Bowman, oh, it's a good block. Fujiwara swings this one in. It's gone a bit deep. Again, it's not headed away brilliantly by the defender. Bar doesn't really get it away either. Oh, pal. Fucking pal. People call pal will annoy me in this game. Nick pal. This pal. Oh, Barr has just absolutely done Jackson. Jackson, you're at the back for your pace. And you're not showing it off. Diving header. It's awful. Kamwa running down the left for Burnham. It's all coming down that left. And that's... He's totally unmarked. He scores. Pal. Obviously, it's pal. Fujiwara tries to put a ball through to Bowman. But it's over here. It's going to be half time, I think. As uh, Blackman goes out to Seddon. Half time. 1-0 down in a trophy I do not care about. Sticking with the starting team into the second half. Let's see if we can, um, well, I don't know, muster a shot on goal. We may have had one. I didn't really look. I just know I don't really care. We, we're using this as an opportunity to see what other people can do in the squad. This is the first time we've really seen Corona get into the game. And he's beaten his man with ease. Corona's still going. He's just run out of space a little bit there. McDonald, everyone's in the box. Who's on the edge? There he is. Ono. No, it's straight at the keeper. Corona with a good header. Ono picks it up again. Tries to feed that ball through. Remember, these two Japanese players are meant to be technically gifted, according to our scout and the man who found them. As, uh, oh, my God, here they come again. Powell. It's always bloody Powell. Out to Barr. Barr, watch, just watch the cutback. Just shield that cutback. Yes, Jackson. Great defending from Jackson. Quick substitution then for us as Reese Jones comes on to replace Joseph McDonald at right back. Oh, Burton Abbey you know, played, played through us like a hot knife through butter. Lubala, Novak with a good save. I mean, I, I don't want to say he's threatening Bamba for a starting position because the ratings are what, quite considerably in Bamba's favour. But um, he has only conceded one. Uh, I think Bamba's track record is probably averaging about three a game. You've got that, Corona. Go on, use your pace. Cut in field. Beat him. He has beaten him. There's the run. Papadopoulos. Bowman. Oh, Bowman is let. He's still. I was going to say he's letting us down, but he's still got it. Flicks it out to the left. Corrin, who I'm pretty sure is right footed, swings in a ball. It's not very good. This is the problem with this team. It's not very good. Chalk is there. Out it goes to Lubala. Lubala Burton having been really good. Powell again. It's two. And I think that wraps up this EFL game for uh, for Burton. Just flicked inside and he wasn't going to miss from there, pal. Novak's our backup keeper. No chance he's saving that. Uh, we do give Corona a little rest. Um, he is going to be replaced by uh, one of the new youngsters. I can't remember which one it is. We'll find out because he's on his right-hand side and he's about to get the ball. So, um, It's this guy. Hutton? Glover. The other one. I've got Hutton and Glover. I can never remember which one's which because they look quite the same. He's done well. Jones. Bowman, oh, it's just that little touch. I keep thinking I'm playing with, like, Messi, who can do little touches around the corner and they get through. But we, we've really missed. It's showing me the difference between our... what is our de facto sort of starting eleven and the other players we have, because we're so reliant on our starting eleven in terms of fitness as well. Chalk, oh, he's absolutely made a mockery of me there. Good save from Novak. Just get this one away. Fujiwara is trying something different here. Bowman lays it back. Powerful shot from Novak, but it's blocked. It's going to fall to the other Novak, who is so bad. He's just under overrun that quite obviously. And Kamwa takes advantage of my terrible defending. Lubar tries to put a ball in. That should be Novak's. And it is. It just bounces through. Corrin brings it forward. He's got he's got options. One of them's in the middle. Completely unmarked. But it's ref, surely that's a penalty. I'm kicking the ball. And he's just taken out my back foot ref. Get down to spec savers, lad. Get yourself a pair of these that I've got on my face. Unbelievable stuff from the ref. But an Albion are in. Novak, good save. Oh, I wasn't commentating. Sorry, I forgot. I thought the ref was going to play for full time. But uh, Burton Albion do have a corner here with one minute to go. And it's headed away by Fujiwara. He's probably one of the few players that can hold his head high after this game. 2-0 loss in a trophy I don't care about. So we are having a bit of a morale issue. Um... 
as you would imagine, because we've got a lot of normal, what would be first team players here, not playing. So they're pissed off. So we're either going to have to release them at some point, or we're going to have to hope we get deals for them in January. And if we don't get deals from January, I think we're going to have to release. We're only in like the last end of October. So uh, we do have a bit of time to try and get some deals done, but there's nobody there. Right. We did have um, some requests again as well. So we're going to go to Peru this time uh, and we're going to be looking for a physically strong player from peru so let's see what ruben garrett can find in his little jaunt to south america so wrexham the mighty wrexham are lining up with aladdin and mullen up front they're playing in a far four one three two probably a five three two um lots of very good players mclean Mullin, Evans, Hayden, it's going to be very tough. And we're lining up in our 4-3-3 with uh, Rivero, Novak, Papadopoulos in the middle. In fact, do you know what I'm going to do? We're going to change that. We're going to start... Which one of you is the holder? Yeah, Rivero is going to play up here. He's going to stay as a centre mid, but he's going to get a, an instruction, the first one of the team, to get forward. Now, let me know what instructions you think we should play. Maybe we should have Oman running in behind because he's really quick. Yeah, let me know your thoughts. So, we've... Sort of need a big game here. We sort of need a big game. Last one of the episode. Um, I really wish we didn't have that EFL trophy game. But uh, hey-ho, it is what it is. And the, the sun is shining in Gillingham. Uh, quite a lot. It's a warm October day. As uh, We win that one. Corona back in the starting lineup, Trying to link up with Oman. Go on, give me a run. Give me a run. There we go. Yes. This is better. Go on, Jones. In for McDonald in this game swings in across I think Hutton's offside he is offside I've just seen the flag go up in the corner of my eye but it was a good move Wrexham need to be wary here I like this counter attack yeah ball in from Jones and you can just see from that original view he was offside but went a bit too soon Jones goes left to McLean another ex Premier League footballer down at this level Bamba saw it late good save to be fair big Bam's doing well it's a cross in surely looking towards Mullin. It's a good header away from Allen and oh, Hayden on the volley. Goal kick. Good ball out. Switch in the flank. That could definitely be something we uh, tried to work on as Hutton has put Rivero in. Rivero. Great ball. Oman. Oh, we're 1-0 up against Wrexham. Come on. Oman. Lovely goal that one. Really well worked. Great crossfield ball from Jones to the left back. And then we just played it really well. And that, it's, that, it's that attacking run from Rivero in there. Number 35 at the moment, unless you want to take over a storyline for him. But uh, yeah, he did really well. Lovely ball through as well. And then Oman on that left foot. I remembered he's left footed. And he absolutely rifles that into the goal. And it puts delight on the home fan faces, doesn't it? 1-0 Gillingham, bloody hell. I mean, I don't want to put a lot of hopes on... Oh my God, Jones is in. Bamba, big save. And then good covering from Oman. Um, that must got, must got be left back, Oman. Yeah, I don't want to be putting a lot of pressure on a 16-year-old who's wearing number 35, making what is probably his fourth senior appearance of his career. But Riviero, a lot of our hope is is sort of hanging on what he can do for us in central midfield. Good save from Bamba, that. Rivero, yeah, see, that's the... I didn't get the pass to him, but that's the one I want Rivero to make. Sort of into that channel, and then we try and get his technical abilities on it. Davies, under pressure from Clark at centre-back. Evans... Mullin gets it through. Davies! Oh, it's, da it's down the middle, Bamba. It's down the middle. It's an awful piece of goalkeeping. 1-1. One, one. We flagged him as a danger man, Davies. He's done well. He's done very well there. And uh, just inside the area. Left-footed drive. <sighs> just too slow to react, Bamba. Ford into Davies, who's already scored one for Wrexham. Aladdin, oh he's done really well he's got a man in the middle, he's sliding that definitely should be a penalty but I don't think the ref's going to give it, great interception from Allen oh a lovely reverse pass to pick out Rivero as Oman is there, Oman maybe should have gone over the top, I just don't trust elevated passes with this technical ability Mullin, there's a man with lots of technical ability early cross in Jones is there and we've worked that away well Papadopoulos sees the space for Hutton. I think this is going to be quite a long video because I've, there's been so much to comment on in this one. Oman, ball through. It's Corona. Corona! Oh, Okonokwo. What a save. Okonkwo. That's how you pronounce that. Not Okonokwo. I tell you what, since Scott Lloyd got a haircut and 
change his ethnicity. We've been playing all right. They're headed down from Jones, but Okonkwo claims it. Half time, 1 1, which is a very good result against Wrexham at half time. We're just lacking a little something that we need to find through midfield. And I think it is. I just think it's going to be finding one run from Rivero is going to open up a lot of options for us here. As uh, Papadopoulos has well, done well, and he's got on that loose ball as well. Into Oman. Oh, oh, Corona was coming back on side. So we're going for a number of fresh legs coming on. It's four changes. We've got Ono, Amin, Glover and Brown on. Hutton, Papadopoulos, uh, Corona and someone else in midfield coming off who I can't remember um, because it all happened too quickly. But yeah, lots of changes. Here is Oman into Ono. We're hoping he can create something. Oh yeah, we took Hutton off on this side for Amin. I don't know if I said that one. McLean, that's a good ball into Jones for space. He's found Aladdin. Oh, I've dived in there. Bam, but the shot straight at him on the rebound is Aladdin. It's 2-1 to Wrexham. The shot came in, and it was a good save initially from Bamber. I'll, I'll give him credit. I know it's at him, but he had to get in the way of it. But Aladdin reacted quickest. 2-1 Wrexham. Wrexham coming forward again. McLean. Aladdin. He's got a goal for today, and he's picked out Davies. It's 3-1. It's game over. It's just great movement. I can't keep up with it. Our players can't keep up with it. Just sticks that one through. Look, the marking is awful. Bamba's got no chance with that. 3-1. Wrecks him in again. And do you know what? We've kept Mullin quiet all game, which I think in itself is quite an achievement. And I'm happy about that. As we go into the final few minutes, Corrin overrunning the ball. Aladdin does turn, and that's a good foot in the way. And that's full time. 4 1 Wrexham. I'm not going to look at match facts or performances because we got absolutely annihilated. Hat trick for Jordan Davies. And that is the end of this episode. So remember to let me know down below if you want to sort of take over a player for shirt number, how he looks, equipment that he wears, and things like that. That would be great. And keep your recommendations coming in for scouting locations, what sort of players. Um, and what we need to do for tactics. But thank you so much for watching. We're still struggling with Gillingham. Up next is Newport for the first game of the next episode. See you then. Cheers.